No more newbie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add screen shake in Share Factory to give you more options of effects that you can use on your gaming videos and montages. So in this one, we're going to show you the shaking effect there. And we're going to use the clip that we showed you in one of the last videos, which was the 360 uh, camera effects. So what we're going to do is just play that again. And we're going to show you there's, there's different levels of intensities of the screen shake effect. So you've got different options of how you can do it or how long it is going to last for and how intense that is going to be. So this one is 0.2 effect um and or the intensity is 0.2 so i'm going to show you a few different clips so you can see the difference now it is just a case of playing about with it and getting it how you want it and you can also change the effect so that it starts part of the way through the kill or the shot or you could play it so it's happening from the beginning so i've showed you a different a couple of different examples so you can see what you think and that was 0.4 intensity there so again it's just giving you examples of what it can look like and it's only a very subtle effect but it adds to your montages makes a little bit more interest in gameplay so well worth looking at but i wouldn't have it playing for too long because it does kind of mess with your eyes a little bit if you if you don't like that sort of thing so i, I would generally keep it at about a second okay so we're in videos we're going to go to new project and choose whichever theme you prefer to use i always like to use share factory theme and then we get rid of all these ticks apart from one and actually we can go into most recent and then choose the clip that we want to use so we will find this one we're going to click on the cross and push square you can rename it now or later and then we get rid of this little bit at the end we don't need that just go in to delete that and then we're ready to do the next bit Okay, and while we get to the bit that we want to add the effect to, then just uh, remember the shout out of the days coming to the end of this video, so stick around for that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the effect on both shots here. So we're going to do the one at the beginning. So the way we get it to exactly the right place is by just letting it play through and then using the D-pad. Um, I normally push right on the D-pad when I want to start slowing it down, and then you can just tap right on the D-pad frame by frame to get to the right point so i've been doing this so that it is you're letting the shot happen and then halfway through the shot then you add the effect so you push cross button and then add overlay and then you've got all these different options you want to go down to camera effects click on the quake effects and then you can change the time that it plays for here or you can go into camera duration there and then you can just move it down. Now I've been doing all these clips at one second, but it's totally up to you how long you want it to play for, but it has got quite a sort of visual effect on it. So I, I wouldn't have it playing for too long. You can go into camera settings and then that's how we change the intensity level. So to start with, this clip is gonna be um, at 2.0 for the effect that we want here. So that's the first one added. So we'll just show what that looks like and then we'll let it carry on playing. And when it gets to the second shot, we'll push uh, right on the D-pad in a second just to slow it down. And then we'll just go frame by frame and then wait for that shot to happen. And then as soon as we think we're in a position or oh, it's about halfway through the shot, then you can just push the cross button, add overlay, go down to camera effects, quake effect and then change it. You could change it here in one second and then camera settings. And then we can just bring that down again to point two effect or whatever you prefer to use. So you just then confirm that and we just let that all play through so you can see the overall effect there. And you can do it on multiple um, kills or you could just do it as part of a montage on, on you know, just use the quake effect on one. So totally up to you how you want to use it but nice and effective either way so before we move on to the final tip let's do the shout out of the day which goes to nst chips so thanks so much for your support and commenting on my videos i really appreciate it anyone watching please do check out their channel and consider subscribing if you like what they do okay so the final tip is just to render the video and save it as an individual clip like we've just done so we haven't added it to anything else and it allows us to add it to other montages and then come back and reuse it at a later point if we want to so i hope you found this useful if you have please like and subscribe thanks very much and bye